Be good. Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Welcome back. Hope y'all are doing well. Manchester United versus Aston Villa. I'm not getting on board with that idea that, you know, let's be honest. Can you, as a Man U fan, look at yourself in the mirror and say, like, we're going places? You know, from now on, things are going to change, right? No. And if you are, you're kidding yourself. This team is, ah, I'm so, 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 so tempted to say that they're a disaster of a team, despite this win, despite coming back and, you know, saving face, because that's what they did, save face. Uh, having a different attitude, that's the best that you can say about this team, that they had a different attitude. And and go them, go Manchester United, but but it's Manchester United, you're not supposed to say that. We're, we're saying that out of pity, we're saying that out of like, oh man, thank God, you know, swiping that big whop of sweat off your forehead. It's Manchester United, and you know what? What does that mean nowadays, Manchester United? doesn't have that same weight, that heaviness that it, that it used to have. It's just like a run-of-the-mill team, just like any other team. Manchester United it's so dry there's no there's no spirit there's no soul just like there wasn't anything with these guys in the first half those first two goals that they pretty much just gave away and in such awful fashion um that 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 free kick from again right look I know there's been a lot of talk and I said this before I'm not a big fan of Onana I think he's an average at best goalkeeper he's had some good saves you know here and there he's the only goalkeeper at some point obviously it stands that he's gonna make a you know a good save here and there but where were where were the reflexes you can argue all you want about the the legs and the arms that were flailing all around when uh when that ball was sent into the box but you're um, again here I go Manchester United goalkeeper right I'm not saying bring back uh, De Gea or anything. I, I I agree. I wasn't there for the previous years that De Gea wasn't having a good season. I saw this last season when he was having a hell of a season and making some astonishing saves. But uh, those reflexes of Onana were on vacate. They were not there. I don't know where they were at, but they were not present. They were not present. That to me was all on him. That falls all on him. And that second goal for me was uh, Mainu. Mainu, the kid. I mean... I get it that he's young, but you know he's playing with the big boys, and he's got to he's got to be accountable for that, in my opinion. He lost uh, Longay. Longay just appeared out of nowhere, or it seemed out of nowhere. It was Mainu not doing his job, all by himself to freely head that ball in. And uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dekanku? I forgot the guy's name. With the heel flick, like what is he doing? You know, so freely being able to, to to hit the ball that way, you know, and I don't think it was Varon because the commentator was saying like, "Oh, Varon, you're supposed to, you know, stick your foot out when the ball's coming at you at hip level." Everybody knows, everybody that plays football, there's really no way you can do one of these like, you know, that quick in advance to be able to block the ball. If you're talking about lift his foot up, that's such an unorthodox, it's such a difficult position to do uh, or thing to do, I should say. He had no, unless he's going to hit it with his hand and he's going to do one of the things that we've been seeing lately where it's like, oops, my hand was just in its natural position. That's the only way he was going to block that shot. I'm sorry. That's the only way he was going to be able to block that shot by putting his hand there. And that was going to be given a penalty or, or who knows, maybe not, not right. Like, cause that's what happened lately. That's what's been happening lately. So those two balls were giving away. I mean, those two goals were just served for Aston Villa and I haven't seen Aston Villa play against Arsenal when they won, when they uh, beat Manchester City, but I'm willing to bet anything that this was not Aston Villa's plan. Aston Villa has, I think, a lot more than than what they gave, you know, because this was pretty much just Manchester United just giving away goals, right? So this wasn't even Aston Villa at their best. Um, I don't know if they're missing players or what's going on, uh, because there wasn't much in the way at the beginning they were attacking a lot lot more and i think that's why they got the goals that they got uh manchester united could just feel that psychological effect that things were not going their way right they woke up later much later uh towards the end they started attacking a little bit more uh and it wasn't until the second half that obviously the goal that came right away you know that things started shifting and they started playing like everybody's saying this is the manchester united that that we know and you know that we all want to see right it's still not good enough for this game. Just if we're just talking about this game, yeah, they did a good enough job. They did it. They did good. Okay, I'm gonna say it. they did good. But can you say that they're gonna start playing well from now? No, come on, you you, you can't with confidence, with like utter confidence. Can you say that this is gonna change? Like no, no. I I, I stand by by maybe I didn't say it, but I'm gonna say it now that last year's um qualification, last year's third place was just 
a situation ship. Uh, it had nothing to do with Ten Hag, and I like Ten Hag. Uh, it had nothing to do with like tactically what they were doing. It was just they were just. I think the 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 weight of Ronaldo leaving at that point, and then things started to shift a little bit. I still think Ronaldo was a problem, and I'm a big fan of Ronaldo. Oh, I used to be at least of Ronaldo, but I think he needed to go. He definitely needed to go, but it wasn't anything because you know I knew that this this team was gonna weren't gonna go anywhere. I knew that. Rashford because Rashford's been in the club for such a long time and for some reason that that season he starts you know just putting them in out of nowhere just sacking goal after goal after goal you know shooting scoring uh like nobody's business and this season you know he's back to where he he was in the first place you know like uh yeah like no, nothing's happening and I will say he had a decent game compared to the other games that he's played he was more on the ball he was taking more shots he was involved a lot more he looked a lot more dangerous in this game but still 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 the same thing with Garnacho still just lacking quality again for a team like United if they're playing for West Ham you know Aston Villa yeah definitely I'd you know I'd stand up and applaud and I you know thumbs up right but for Manchester United why why are we saying these guys are having especially Garnacho? yeah i get it he scored two goals he saved uh manchester united but dude dude can't dribble to save his life he got past one this is that today in this game was the first time i actually saw him get clean i mean clear past two players and it was a foul after that loses the ball can't control the ball it's like he has no no touch for someone again for Manchester United a kid for Manchester United you ha- you have to have that touch it's just got to be sublime it's got to be way ahead of everybody else that you could tell there's a huge difference between you and, and and the rest and there isn't that huge difference it's just minor sometimes or not at all and then the goals that they scored or Garnacho scored were pretty much the same uh the same screw ups that that Manchester United did but this time coming from uh, Aston Villa you know the the ball that they gave away and Fernandez uh uh, did a good job. He was alert. He got the ball. I ended up passing it to Rashford, and Rashford did a really good job. Flush, like I mean, really, really good touch to Garnacho. And Garnacho, I mean, put it in. It's not the easiest thing, but that's what they're paid to do. That should be simple. They should make that look like anybody could do that, right? Um, and he put it in first goal, and that second second goal. I mean, I don't, dude, like it was a, a deflection landed right to him shoots it another deflection again he went after it like you know i love the attitude you know it was there he was constantly he always has that but had that not been a deflection the second deflection martinez is going to get that shot he was going to block that shot i'm not trying to take away anything from the kid you know he had a good game this game but is he going to do that next game like consistently on a consistent basis because that's what we need that's what you need from a player that plays in Manchester united in my humble opinion and he's not going to do that right Hoyland I'm happy for Hoyland too because I mean what I loved was the camaraderie the way Onana went all the way back you know all the way to to the other side of the field to congratulate him and after the game everybody's just like you know hugging him and you know shaking his hand and just like smiles all over the place really nice but it's going to be short-lived that's what pisses me off this is not going to be consistent it's not going to be consistent so a part of me it feels like I'm a United fan right I'm just a guy that used to watch United almost every Saturday you know every weekend and it does not resemble at all the United or doesn't resemble that kind of team right so I don't know look good game by Erickson I guess another one I don't know what he's doing there he's past his prime but he had a good game today really amazing long long distance passes you know like uh, just placing it right there like as if he you know throwing at it you know with his hand uh, to Rashford, to Garnacho, to Fernandez, really good job, really good ball. Dalo, he kind of made up the mistakes that he was making the, in the beginning because he had three mistakes. The third mistake in the in the first half, Bailey got the ball, and Bailey should have done a better job. He could have he could have scored. That should have been a goal by uh, by Aston Villa. I mean, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Just this team, <laughs> this team. Good, look, they won. I guess we should be happy, but I I'm not. I'm not satisfied. I'm not. I'm not satisfied with the players. I'm not satisfied with the game itself. It was just. It was an exciting game at at the end. You know when they started attacking more, but players like Garnacho are not convincing Rashford. 
um the team itself just like the way they were playing that first half it's going to happen again what you saw in the first half it's going to happen uh and they're going to get their their butts beat by by some other team and you're going to see them lose maybe like three four games in a row and then they're going to come back maybe winning a game and and doing so in great fashion like they did today with that attitude with that hunger and we're going to and you're supposed to forget about what's been happening you know as if like from now on they're going to change they're going to play well no no and I can't say, you know, step by step, you know, like, you know, it's a process and all that stuff. Yeah, it is. But it doesn't look like like it's going anywhere. It just looks like it's just playing itself out. And, you know, the vicissitudes of, of, of football in this case are just, you know, taking effect. And that's it. And we, we just have to we just have to kind of wait till the real effect, you know, comes in. Anyways, that's all I want to talk about. Thank you again so much uh, for tuning in, for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.